Kyrie's low top. Uh, just keep continue to compete and grow as a group. We got a lot of young guys still. Uh, and then with Kev back, we're kind of getting um, you know feel for how he is um, on the court. I'm talking to him as our leader. I think uh, that gives us more time to grow and improve. Get ready for you know next next year and guys who just play a summer league stuff like that. Challenge here for tonight, especially against Toronto. They took the first three. How do you avoid this week? Just compete, play hard. They're a really good team. They're getting geared up for the playoffs, uh, especially around this time. I know they're coming. Uh, they're full team. I don't think anybody's sitting out tonight. So, uh, you know, just come out there and compete. Uh, give them a good shot and you know, try to get a win. Have you noticed any kind of change in Collins' demeanor? Um, in terms of him as a person? No, I think he's the same as a person. But yeah. just uh, maybe how he carries himself on the court or how he um, how he has kind of attacked things as a player in, in games. And do you have any idea when he might have begun, begun to notice it? Uh, I would just say he's just growing. I don't think uh, much has changed, but I feel like he's growing in terms of, you know, situation stuff. Um, when he's getting in position, he's making the, the right plays more than, you know, the, the wrong ones. Uh, uh, that's why I feel like he's making the steps, right? And then, uh, you know, defensively, uh, you know, he's growing in that, that area too. And then as well, being vocal, you know, LD's been pushing him in uh, to talk a lot in practice. Um, you know, just say anything, especially being a point guard and uh, playing out there with Kevin. Uh, you got to be vocal and you know, kind of put everybody in their places so you do the right thing. Could you tell he didn't, he had a hard time with that vocal part at the beginning? Uh, I mean, everybody does. You know, he, I think he's, what is he, 19, 20 years old, he's right? 20 now. Yeah, yeah. 20. Yeah. So, um, I mean, you're young, you, you're a bunch of, around a bunch of older guys, you mm -hmm. know, stuff like that. It's, it's an adjustment to make, you know, especially mm -hmm. coming from, you know, what do you do, six months of college, probably mm -hmm. didn't even go to second semester of classes, uh, and then jumping straight here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's definitely an adjustment. You know, you see him kind of falling into it right now. How much can he be? Uh, I think he could be good. Uh, just got to continue to keep working. Uh, and like, you know, he works hard. He's in here in the mornings gets it in, so, uh, you know, I feel like the sky's the limit for him. Uh, there's no, I don't think it's no cap on You've been in double figures like 57 out of 60-something games. Do you take pride, I mean, I think that's second in the league. Do you take pride in anything like that? Uh, I just try to do my job. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm here, I'm, what I'm here for and uh, what I got to do when I take in the game. I just be a spark mm -hmm. off the bench in terms of scoring and, uh, Oh, that's my job, and that's, that's what I came to do. Uh, that's really it. But I mean, you early. I mean, when everybody was hurt, I mean, it looked like you might, you know, maybe move into the lineup, and it didn't happen. Did you? Are you? Are you, are you good with how your role has evolved? I mean, I mean, you're still the the spark off the bench. I mean, is that? Oh kind yeah. Of feels no, like I'm, it takes I'm, advantage uh, of your skills. I'm definitely, uh, you know, confident in what I'm doing. I'm, I came off the bench for. Uh, three years now, mm -hmm. so you know, I'm kind of falling into that role, uh, you know, as that bench scorer and uh, bench player, uh, spark plug off the bench. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Chip, go ahead. Uh, for me, it was just. Coming here and just like I said last year, uh, big people had like a misjudgment because I had you know a few bad games in the playoffs and stuff like that. Uh, my whole thing was just come back and kind of you know prove people wrong and uh, come here aggressive and attack it like I like I do and uh, you know just a clear mind and came in here and you know, just having a, a solid year in terms of individual but. 
definitely want to you know, help the team and you know, win games. So that was my biggest thing, being the best player I could be, so I could help win games. Do you feel like you've proved them wrong? Uh, I ain't done yet, so we'll see. <laughs> uh, you know, when everything's all, all over with. I want to ask you something real quick about Coach Drew. I mean, it's been such a difficult season. Do you kind of admire the way he seems to have kept you guys together? I mean, I know there were some rough months, but you know what I mean? Yeah, no, LD's done a great job. Mm -hmm. you know, he's, uh, he's just kind of keeping everybody together, keeping everybody's spirits high. You know, sometimes after those tough losses and stuff like that, everybody gets a little down. Somebody wants to lose. Um, but he's done a good job as well as Channing and you know, the rest of the you know, older guys. So, uh, you know, for us, it's, it's nobody really got down all year, I think, uh, even with the losing and stuff. Is that almost remarkable considering, you know, you know, the, you look, you can look at the record and just let that pull you down. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, you can see other teams around the league when you, know, you play them, they kind of, you know, shot, uh, you know, mentally. But, you know, like I said, we got great teammates. We got uh, great coaching staff that kind of kept us all together. And, um, we just kept rolling. Okay. Great. Thank you.